know that you you confessed to feeling a soup song of schadenfreude um, but you also felt relief as you just said that he would be held accountable but Will he be? Because, as you know, Judge Merchan recently delayed his sentencing to after the election. You mentioned the Supreme Court saying, granting him immunity. Does it feel like he'll never truly be held accountable at times to you? Well, I think that's a risk. Um, I do think it depends upon the outcome of the election. Um, part of the reason why he is so intense about this election is because his freedom is at stake. Uh, and, you know, the, the case in New York, uh, the uh, losing the defamation uh, case also in New York, his company being held criminally liable also in New York. Uh, there's a pattern here that finally people are uh, focused on that he's a person who you know, you know, cuts, cuts corners, corners all the time, uh, believes, he's believes he's above the law, law gets, gets to, to, you know, know try to point, point fingers at everybody else. else. So, so honestly, uh, Katie, um, it, it depends, depends upon, upon the election. election. And it, it is so uh, shocking to me how, you know, the judge in Florida has literally turned herself into a pretzel trying to find a way out for him uh, with his boxes and boxes of highly classified material stored in Mar-a-Lago. In the bathroom. The bathroom, I mean. <laughs> Which was really gross. You can't make this up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. I guess, I guess we, we know, know what he's reading. <laughs> <laughs> or not, I don't know what he's doing with it. Um, and, and it, 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 look, I mean, we, we, have we have always, always prided, prided ourselves, ourselves um, on, a on a couple of things, things the peaceful transfer of power. And, and as Secretary, Secretary, Secretary of State, State, I used to travel around the world, world basically telling leaders and, and you know, the, the people, people in countries, countries look, one, one election, election is, is not enough. enough. It's not, not one, one and you're done, and then you get, get to, to you know, try, try to prevent anybody else from ever challenging you. It's the peaceful transfer of power. You have to have, you know, free and fair elections. The rule of law, not the rule of men, uh, powerful men, uh, but the rule of law. And so, you know, he, he has very much, along with his uh, allies, um, you know, tried to destroy both of those foundational concepts of our country. And it is incredibly dangerous, um, as, don't take it from me, all of the people who worked for him, who are now saying, please don't vote for him. I was in the Situation Room with them. I was in the Oval Office with them. I briefed him. You cannot trust him, and you cannot let him have that kind of power again. So the people who serve with him are warning us, and he himself has said he wants to be, you know, dictator on day one. Why isn't the campaign employing those people more? Well, they, they have been, used, and, used they've and they've certainly been, been mentioned, mentioned, and uh, they're all over social, social media, media, and just, just like two, two days ago, a, a big group of former Reagan, Reagan officials all came out uh, against him. I mean, Republicans, Republicans of, you know, principle, principle and prior experience and different, and different Republican administrations are, you know, literally sounding the alarm. So I think the, the more we can get that out, the better. And I'm, I'm hoping the campaign will do more of that. But as, as Vice President Harris travels around the country, she's now being introduced in a lot of places by Republicans who basically say, you know, I, I am so-and-so and I'm a lifelong Republican, but I am voting for, uh, you know, Vice President Harris. That, that is giving permission to people who, are, are, are torn, torn about, about Trump, Trump uh, but, but still, still feel, feel like, like, well, you know, you know I'm a pro Republican, Republican, I don't agree with the Democrats on issues and all the rest. The, the only, only issue is saving our democracy. democracy. We can, we can argue, argue about, about everything, everything else later. <laughs>